Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here, and this is a little chatteroony. And boy, what a busy weekend I've had. Goodness gracious. I mean, there was the um, the kids and um, my grandchildren and cooking dinner. And then I went out into the yarn van and packed up orders. And yeah, um, and then my football teams both played each other. I hate that. I really hate that. I support two teams and um, people always say, you know, oh, you must prefer one over the other. But um, what it is, <laughs> I kind of was, I was born and bred a Tottenham Hotspur supporter. Because we come from North London and we, we were really round the corner from the ground. But when I had my children, Paul, my eldest, became an Arsenal supporter and they're the absolute arch enemy of Tottenham and so I um I learnt to sit on the fence and to be kind of ref between Michael and Paul who were Tottenham and Arsenal but watching them as much as I did I got to kind of like them and um so when they play each other people I say well, who do you want to win then and I just sort of say whoever it's most important for. So it's most important at the moment for Arsenal because they need to win the league. But it's also important for Tottenham to qualify for Europe. So it's equally important. Well, not equally, but it is important for both teams. So that makes it difficult. When nothing rides on it, my ultimate ideal is a draw. <laughs> because then, you know, it's fine. Don't often get a draw, usually get Arsenal win. Occasionally, very, very occasionally, you get a Tottenham win. But it was a very close game today. Arsenal won in the end. So, that was what I was doing with my Sunday. Made my giveaway a bit late because as soon as that was finished, it was time for dinner. And uh, <coughs> I'd had such a busy morning. We'd been out. Um, so it kind of put everything back and you know what I actually I can't say I forgot to do it I knew I had to do it but I got lost track of time I lost I lost track of time you know it happens from time to time in life so what we got today we got this one looks like a giant doesn't it it's just Mando or shiny this it's got usually it's silver but it's got a gold light on him so you're looking golden yeah so i am well you know when i was younger uh, my kids were young and i was much younger remember aol <laughs> seems like a lifetime ago msn life uh so it's chat chat rooms and uh aol chat rooms god they see that forever ago dial up into <laughs> dial up modems <laughs> you know them so yeah um back then my handle was gunner yid because the the arsenal are the gunners so they get called gunners and tottenham have always been called the yids because you know in the early days they were um, a kind of a jewish <laughs> north london it's like synonymous with Jewish people, so they were a supposedly Jewish team. Doesn't help that they still have a part owner who is a Jew, so they never really lose it. But um, not that they, the, the actual supporters like being called Yids. We are the Yids and all that stuff. So let's do it. Let's do it. Reminds me of Victoria Wood. Guess what I found today? Well, I was looking for something, and so I decided I've got this little cubby down there. It's a drawer with a massive shelf, like a shelf. It's like a an open cupboard underneath it, and so um, I, I've these were stacked in there. So these ones, these are going to get used soon. They've only been sitting there waiting for what nearly a year. I can't remember. If you can remember sending these to me, tell me when it was. Tell me when it was. 
Okay, let's do it. Gotta find it first. I, I'm I kind of lost the page, so uh, see if I'm on the right page first of all. Yes, I do believe I am. Um, did I do the storm of facts? Yes. Okay. You know you're old when you and your teeth don't sleep together. <laughs> I like that. I like that one. <laughs> oh, that tickled me, that one. <laughs> That's naughty as well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Usually they're not funny, funny, you know, they're usually like, mm, smile. But <laughs> I like that one a lot. <clears throat> I must be young because I still sleep with my teeth. <laughs> so... <laughs> I know she's not watching, but today is my sister's birthday. But it's not today when you're watching it, it's yesterday when you're watching it, but it's today for me. We're doing that thing again, sorry. But yeah, Sunday, she's ooh, 21 again and again and again. Um, her car didn't arrive, but she said it's because the post is rubbish. And also birthdays are Sunday. Doesn't help when you don't get any post on Sunday. Putting my phone on. <laughs> that joke has made me hot. <laughs> that did tickle me, that one. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, let's hope the other books... There's been some really funny ones in that book. <laughs> it helps to start the day with a giggle. Not that I'm starting my day, am I, really? I'm uh, At the moment, the team that I want to lose more than anything in this world are playing. I can't bring myself to watch them because I hate them so much. And um, <laughs> I'm just hoping... I'm just hoping when I go out there that I've lost... <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's, still, it's still funny. Oh, whew. I'm rather warm now. I didn't even bring tea in with me today. A bit, a bit remiss of me. I haven't got a drink at all. You know what that means? I will dry up. You know when I go, I can't drink. That will happen. It will. Hmm. So. I haven't done any crochet and that's not good is it because I have that part two of my crochet line to make and um, it doesn't help that I was really tired the last time I was crocheting and I made them all wrong <laughs> I did the wrong style you know I did two um, squares recently I did one plain and one as a mosaic I did them as mosaics what am I like? So I thought, am I going to undo this? No, I'm not. I'm going to leave that for my blanket that's made up of <laughs> made up of my um, swatches and stuff. I thought if I just leave them too, if I, if I have to have the yarn and if I run out and I need it or something, then I'll undo them. But if I don't need to undo them, I'm going to just leave them as they are. And they can make up part of a blanket sometime. In the future, when I get round to doing that, and I do need to do that one that I made all the swatches for because I think that would be cool. All those uh, beautiful squares. Anyway, <clears throat> I've been sorting out in here. I'm just scooching you around. I put some yarn back in the cubbies there. That was boxes. So you can help Gary's finish my shelving. And um, I do need to clear a lot of stuff out. I probably need to give stuff away to charity and I probably need to um, make space for things that should be in there and so I can put my yarn back in here because at the moment you know it's just unceremoniously put into bin bags and it's out there in the yarn van just sitting there by my cubbies that are full up I do need to sort it out though I need to get some more cubbies um, because there is there is room along that edge for them and um, <clears throat> I've been sorting stuff out out there. Every time I go out there, I do a bit more. And it is, um, I just need some drawers, I think. Um, that was one of the reasons I wanted that uh, sideboard that we, we used to have out there. 
but it wasn't really the right thing. And if I had a chest of deep drawers, that would be so much better. It would be better for accessories. Um, because when you put those, when I put accessories in those big tubs that I put the yarn in, you know, with the, the lids that clip, they become extremely heavy <laughs> and, I'm, and I struggle. I came in earlier and I said, oh, it's warm in here. And I quickly turn off the heat and it's not really warm. I'm, well, maybe it's because I've been lugging those boxes. They really are quite heavy, some of them. The ones with a lot of yarn in are heavy enough. But, you know, with accessories in, they become even more heavy. So, yeah, I, um, I did put in an order, um, but I haven't had the confirmation. So I'm a little bit not concerned because maybe I didn't. I'm sure, because with this particular company, you have to say um, update the order, and then you have to say confirm the order. So confirming, they, it then comes up saying, you can no longer adjust or amend this order, it is now set in stone. So I, I got that part, but I haven't had any emails. Usually you get, this is your invoice, and you can pay it straight away, but I've not had anything. So perhaps, I don't know, perhaps it's because of the weekend, but I would have thought that they would auto-generate those kind of things. Not absolutely sure. But yeah, I decided to get some DK, um, DK weight yarn. And I, I, did, I plumped for most people. I asked for your opinions, didn't I? Most people, they went for the Starcraft special DK, with a few exceptions from others, but... I thought, well, that was the majority kind of go-to DK. Plus, I do the special Aaron, and I know how soft it is, and it's lovely. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just, I'll go for that then. I won't get all of the colours at once, because they've got something like 60 colours. And, um, you know, that's a lot, that's a massive financial commitment first out of the box, you know. <clears throat> but, as I've said to you, I'm making Sophie's Universe. I thought, I'll get colours I know I need. <laughs> <laughs> and others not all of them but um no, i don't mean no, i'm not getting all of them i mean i'm getting more besides um but i thought that would help me um if i got the sophie's universe colors that i want to make as well as extras so um i'm just hoping they've got them all because sometimes i get a bit cross when a staple color is out of stock like black or if they haven't got white you know, and you think, what? Well, this is the, this is the the colour that everybody either gets or gets to go with. Um, you know, not ev not everybody, obviously, but you know, and it does chafe my carrot when they don't have the right colours in, or they'd be out of stock. And there's one particular company that's always out of stock of white. Always, always. What? That's ridiculous. Why would you not have white? You know, white for goodness sake is what baby stuff is made of. Anyway, never mind. So, um, I've not had five minutes really to uh, pop into other people's channels. I've been trying where I can to get in. I went to see Granny D the other day. It was nice to finally get into granny d's because on the odd occasion that i thought oh i'll look for d she hadn't done it because she was having like family or we, she was going back home and stuff like that so i hadn't seen d for a while so it was nice to get in and i went to see krista who had a torrential torrential rain it was the loudest rain um it's probably because she's got a funny ce um ceiling <laughs> roof like you know if i like last night we had torrential torrential rain and it sounded terrible out in the conservatory because of the perspex roof and um, it's like when you're in a, a caravan or something you know and it rains it sounds so much louder than it actually is so uh yeah anyway um lots of rain lately everywhere seems to have rain and we had brilliant sunshine earlier well just before i started doing this video the sun came out and it was glorious but then it would cloud over and, and really hammer down. So, But the good news is we have a lovely flat road. I don't know how long that'll last if the rains keep up. But for now, we went the other way as well. We decided to give it a test because at first we had a lot of traffic. 
and I figured that everybody would just be using our road. So we were coming home the other day and everybody was going the other way. So I figured, oh, they must have, must have done the road now. So we went to see it and it was awful. It was awful before. Up our road was so kind of ridiculous. I went the other way, but it was awful. And so, you know, you didn't know which one was better really. It's either some massive ones that catch the underneath of your car or a long distance of this, you know, and it was just too much. But now they're both done. It's, it is good, it is good. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna get off and upload this and go spend a bit of time with Gary before he has an early night, he's working tomorrow. Maybe we'll watch some Pooky Blinders. Sorry, that's a terrible accent. I always do it though. I over it. I overemphasize it on purpose. And I'll say, Gunny, Gunny, let's watch Pooky Blinders. And he says, They don't talk like that. I go, Yes, they do, but just not as high pitched. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that joke. I'm still laughing about it. <laughs> oh, I like that one. I really like that one. That's cool. It's made me happy. So anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget, um, I did a uh, I did a giveaway yesterday, but I did it very late because I was so um, well, so behind and everything. Sometimes that happens when you've got you know your partner at home, and um, you know having had a busy weekend as well meant I couldn't get ahead of myself. So I was just behind. And then having the, um, what they call the scum match. The scum match, scum, the scum match is Tottenham Hotspur v Arsenal. That is the scum, scum match. The trouble is, you know, for me, neither of them are scum, but that's what they call each other, the scum match. I don't understand all that rivalry. It's crazy. I mean, I can because I don't like Manchester City for instance, who um, win too much. Um, I didn't like Manchester United long before that because they won too much. But um, yeah, they're just the teams you love to hate, really, <laughs> unless you support them. If you do, sorry. I'm off now. I'm going to go for a dig even bigger hole, make a cup of tea because I forgot to bring one in and I'm parched. And um, well, I will say my goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget... If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.